Welcome to Westminster Presbyterian Church. If you are visiting with us today, we are delighted that you are here. And uh, this is a very special day for us here at Westminster. It is the first Sunday of Lent, first Sunday of the month of March, and it is my first Sunday uh, officially in this chancel. God may be thy word that is spoken, and thy word that is heard. For Jesus' sake, Amen. Let us pray. Oh God, may your word be spoken, and may your word be heard. For Jesus' sake, Amen. Tom is a people person who makes close relationships. You love him because he loves you and listens carefully to everything you say. While building strong programs at Westminster, he made sure it was your effort. Hey Dad, um, I just want to thank you for modeling these things not only for your congregation but um, in our lives uh, with your family. So to believe and to have faith, especially when, when times are tough and things are hard. To lead, inspire, and to engage the people in your life. To treat people fairly and to speak up when that's not the case. To listen, to be patient, and to care for others to cultivate creativity in your life and to never grow out of it. Congratulations on your retirement, Tom. Uh, feels like uh, we've been connected at the hip for a long time. We're the first person that each other met at Muskingum College there on the football practice field. We became fast friends and had wonderful years together there, majoring in philosophy and religion. On to Yale Divinity School together, where we were there amazing people at that amazing place, sir. Dad, when I think about you, there is one constant in my memory, and that is since I was a little boy, I've always looked up to you. There is no question in my mind that I would not be the man I am today and be as successful as I have been without your role model. My wife, Jeanette Ludwig, enjoyed the greatest opportunity of her life. She chaired the pastor nominating committee. Without question, Tom Yorty was a prophet. He brought to us the challenges of contemporary life in an urban setting, and for our metropolitan congregation, he always made them aware. Thanks to you as head of staff, colleague in worship, and friend, you made my decision to come to Buffalo 19 years ago the absolute right choice to complete my career. Your unconditional and vocal support for our wonderful music program and your eagerness for its success made my rewarding years working with you at Westminster a privilege, an honor, and a joy. Now, exciting possibilities are on the horizon for our music ministry to reach out to the greater Buffalo community. You, Tom, have been crucial in every decision made to accomplish these goals. The choir and the congregation are deeply grateful for your abiding commitment to the music ministry of this church. Tom was very enthusiastic about the Spiritual Life program and sometimes offered a short course of his own. I particularly remember one that centered on Julia Cameron's The Artist's Way. These programs were intended to give participants an opportunity to share important life experiences that affected their relationship with God and others. Three years ago, when Tom Yorty invited me to co-chair our recent Preserve the Pinnacle Capital campaign, I did not hesitate to say yes. What I had not expected in working closely with Tom was the opportunity to observe firsthand his loving commitment to every member of our Westminster congregation and this inspiring campus.
The Racial Justice Committee is very grateful for your support for all of our endeavors through these many years. You've been there to help figure out how to move forward on meaningful projects and overcome the obstacles that pop up along the way. You've also made sure that we know that mission isn't just money, although that is essential, by insisting on volunteer opportunities for our congregation in all of these projects. And uh, I'm so aware of how you have drawn from the knowledge of the past to build for the future for Westminster. And I'm thinking particularly of the Westminster House, its origins at the turn of the last century. It provided help and leadership to the city, and especially now as the city and the state and the country are waking up to the needs around us, Westminster is once again playing a seminal role. Hi, Tom. Mazel tov. Congratulations. It's been an honor and pleasure to work with you. You're an incredible human being, and I'd like to offer you the priestly blessing. May God bless you and watch over you. May God light your face and grant you comfort. And may God lift God's face to you, revealing God's face to you and grant you and all of us peace. In the aftermath of the 9-11 tragedy, Al Ryan and I, with Tom's full support, started our Understanding Islam series. We have learned that the religions, despite all their differences, have very similar value systems. Jesus famously said in Matthew 7:12, so in everything do unto others that you would have them do unto you. And Muhammad said, not one of you truly believes until you wish for others what you wish for yourself. Thanks, Tom, for supporting us in this endeavor. Tom, I know that you stand tall in your commitment, absolute commitment to the Western New York community, to a pluralistic society, to peace and justice, and amazing passion for uh, the less fortunate and the infirm. God has given you so many gifts, gifts that you have used for the service. And we truly appreciate what you have done for all the communities around our region. I want to take a moment to thank you, my brother for the tremendous friend and colleague that you have been. Thank you for being a listening ear. Thank you for being a tremendous confidant. Thank you, my friend, for uh, being one who allowed me the great privilege of preaching at the Westminster Presbyterian Church. You will be sorely missed. Did you know 44 years ago, Westminster hired the first woman pastor at Western New York Presbytery. Yeah, you know, that was me. And ever since then, the church has been one willing to take a risk and to step out and do things to include all of God's children. Thanks, Tom, for being such a wonderful pastor of Westminster Presbyterian Church for the past 23 years. And thanks, Tom, for being a leader in interreligious dialogue in Western New York. And thanks, Tom, for your commitment to social justice and especially for your advocacy of things for the immigrants on the west side of Buffalo. And thanks, Tom, for being a member of our clergy support group for so long. And finally and personally, thanks, Tom, for being such a wonderful friend. One of my favorite memories was when he and Carol were visiting us and he was up against the deadline for one of his sermons. And before I knew it, I walked into the playroom and there he was um, sitting at a child-sized uh, tea party table, sipping tea and having a cupcake with his three-year-old granddaughter. And it was just shows he really can do it all. Um, they still have tea parties and now Eliza's been more inspired by his writings and his poems. So she's going to share now. My grandpa loves to write poems, and so do I. Here's when I wrote to him. Tea parties by Deepa and Eliza. Let's have a party today at three. Let's stay till we eat and sip tea. 
This is exactly how life should be. Now, now let's play games and have fun. We will be out on the deck in the sun. Let's wait for our parents until we are done. Thank you, Beepa. I feel my boots trying to leave the ground. I feel my heart pumping hard. I want to think again of dangerous and noble things. I want to be light and frolicsome. I want to be improbable, beautiful, and afraid of nothing, as though I had wings. Enjoy your wings, Tom. Enjoy your wings. Thank you for your leadership for the past, for the present, and especially for the future. God bless you, Tom, and may you have a wonderful, well-deserved retirement. Tom, Carol, congratulations. Thank you for these 23 years, and I wish you and Carol a happy, fulfilling retirement. I love you, my brother. Have a great time. I am a better person, stronger in my faith, and more embracing of diversity because of your ministry at WPC. After all I've received from you through your sermons, I most heartfully wish a wonderful retirement for you and Carol. Good luck with whatever you do. I'm sure it'll be amazing. You challenged the comfortable. You comforted the challenged. Thank you for all your service over the years. Tombo, I love you. We'll see you down the road. I hope you enjoy your retirement and that you have wonderful, wonderful memories of life at Westminster. Like so many of us, we wish you a happy retirement, but suggest you don't try another Iron Man. All the best, Tom and Carol. Go with God's blessing and the love and gratitude of this WPC family. We love, we love you, you. Dad. Beepa. Tom. Bye. Bye. We love you.